My name is Natalie Forsyth. I am dedicated to sustainable change and my background is in art and education. Today we are speaking with Marlene Zabayan, the founder of ConsumerChange.com. Her company helps consumers influence the businesses that they use in order to better their environmental practices. Marlene Zabayan, I'm the founder of Consumer Change. Consumer Change is a website which enables users to provide feedback to businesses on their, uh, the business's environmental practices. Whether it's providing recycling facilities for consumers, um, packaging less, using sustainable packaging like not using polystyrene, the idea was that enabling consumers to give feedback to businesses that they care about these things and they've observed these things in the retail establishments that the uh, businesses have, um, that will create an impetus for the businesses to change. Um, I started to get involved when I would encourage businesses myself to go green. I would see a practice I didn't like, I would go to their website, give the feedback myself and that was a private conversation and I'd get a one-on-one -on -one response that usually went something along the lines of Thank you so much for your comments, we'll take them into consideration. What Consumer Change does is it takes a private conversation and puts it in the public forum. And therefore we're um, making, creating a system for change that is much more powerful than a private conversation. It's also adaptive. Um, since we started Consumer Change, which wasn't that long ago, we've added a... Um, follow us on Twitter link, we're now tweeting. Um, we've created an iPhone app because iPhones become popular and we're looking at um, other apps and different ways that people communicate. So we've got to constantly adapt to the way that people are communicating. In, um, there's still all links to the um, central database, which is web-based, but we are adapting to the way that um, our users are communicating. It's regenerative because all of the, f the reviews are user generated and we found that there's been several instances where someone's given a review the company may or may not have responded and then the user has then gone on and given more feedback or developed the subject so it's regenerative in that a it doesn't have to be a singular review it's an ongoing conversation between a business and its consumers that can be developed across the the website. It's trusted because we are a third party source that's enabling this conversation between the business and the consumer. Um, we don't vet the feedback that's coming through. I explained in, in an earlier interview that we do um, make sure that it's appropriate but we don't go in and vet or change or in any way touch the actual review that comes through. Um, we feed it straight through to the business and similarly whatever the business wants to respond, we'll feed that straight back through on the website. Our next big goal is to continue to build our user database, um, our, our user base. Um, we, we really are very ambitious about that and clearly the more users we have all um, working towards the same thing, the more impact that consumer change can make. Achievements so far include about a 30% response rate from businesses and we've got some really great businesses, household names that are responding to reviews that they receive on, on um, consumer change. We've had uh, several businesses tell us that they're changing strategy or changing some practices based on the reviews they've received as well and that, that is ultimately our, our final goal so that is probably the best outcome of all. And finally our iPhone app was named in um, in an article on Earth Day this year in 2010 as one of the best iPhone apps for the um, environment. By embracing the opportunity and engaging with their consumers they come out to be the leaders and um, consumer change is really just the enabler of all that. My ultimate goal is not to need consumer change anymore because every business out there is so sustainable that users won't need to use a tool like consumer change to give reviews for businesses other than maybe to thank them for being so sustainable. 
I think that's a long-term goal. In the medium term, I'd like to have hundreds of thousands of users, and I'd really like to see more businesses changing and um, changing their practices and embracing the reviews they receive as a positive thing from their consumers. The innovation that we're seeking is really an innovation um, in the way people think. Um, we like to see more people advocating for change um, because that's essentially what consumer change is. Consumer change is a website that enables people to advocate for change. Um, and we find that some people are very good at it. Other people tend not to, um, not to be as comfortable advocating as others. The other change that we are keeping our eyes on is um, ch change to the reporting requirements of companies regarding their sustainability practices. We've learned how important it is to build relationships and have networks. And I think that goes true for any kind of businesses, in, in, in innovative or otherwise, that you've got to have the, the network and the relationships out there to make yourself a, um, a success. Consumer Change is, is bootstrapped. Um, I funded it wholly myself. The social change aspect that come that consumer change can create, the, the environmental change, to me is much more important than the um, than the money it, it could bring in. Um, and therefore, there's been a number of occasions when I've had to maybe walk away or not pursue different investment paths because, to me, the primary driver is not money, but it's the it's the social change that it could create.